how to fix high CPU uses while gaming in 2024. If you're facing high CPU uses while gaming, here is a video where I'll show you some simple steps on how to fix this problem. First and foremost, what you have to do is, you have to go to your search bar and type over here background apps. As you can see, a couple of background apps which I have are running. As for example, I need my wallpaper, I need my meat, I need my NVIDIA control panel, NVIDIA control panel and all other examples. What you can do is you can turn off this set or else you can turn on whichever thing you need. For example, when I'm gaming, I obviously don't need the calculator. When I'm gaming, I don't need the camera. When I'm gaming, I don't need my maps. So something like that, you can turn off whichever things you feel are taking a lot of resources. For example, if I can give you, Skype takes a lot of resources if it is running in the background. Secondly, the Microsoft Office takes a lot of resources. So depending on that, you can just right click on your taskbar and go ahead to a taskbar and see which is taking up. Just click on this one and see which is taking up the highest amount of CPU. You will get to know that which is taking a lot more CPU than it should. So you can just simply click on it and just click on end task or you can just simply close the background app. If you're having a very very high CPU uses then you can turn off all the background apps and then try your game. See if that helps. Next step what you can do is in the search bar type edit power plan. Go to advanced power settings and the small window will come up. Over here you have to click on this plus icon which is called as processor power management. Click on this small little plus icon over here and you see three things which is the minimum processor state, system cooling policy and maximum processor state. Now you have to choose the maximum processor state and click on this plus icon and this will be by default at 100%. Now you have to make sure to know that your PC or your laptop doesn't need 100% when you're working or you doesn't or it should not be pushed to that limit so what you can do is you can reduce it to a little bit of less value for me i have put a 95 you can try 96 or 97 anything less than 100 just you can put even try 99 also it will not do much of a difference between 99 and 100 but your cpu uses will reduce a lot and once you have put a value over there click apply and click OK. One additional thing you can do here is in the power option, you can choose something which you call as a high performance or you can choose ultimate performance, which will give more performance while you're gaming as it is taking a higher amount of CPU. So when it is in ultimate performance mode, the PC will make itself so that it can run that game at high performance and the CPU uses also will be balanced up with the game. So do make sure to know that whether you're playing on balance, which is by the default, or you're playing on high performance or ultimate performance, you can choose either of them and see. Some players even I have seen, they have even choose power saver and then they try to play the game. And that is very, very wrong. If you choose power saver, then your game will also not run properly and you will have a lot more issues. So make sure you choose ultimate performance or high performance. Next step, what you have to do is in the search bar, you have to type run and over here, you have to type the small piece of command which is msconfig, click OK. A small window will come up, you have to go to the boot section over here and click on advanced options. Now in my CPU, I have 10 processors all together. As you can see, I have chosen all the 10 processors. If by chance this is something less than this, you need to choose the highest value possible. Because in some CPUs, there may be less processors. Probably you're having a 4 core CPU or an 8 core CPU. Maybe you have a 12 core CPU. Depending on that, whatever the highest value is, you make, you make sure that you choose the highest value over here and then click OK. Next up over here, you go to services and you can see all these services which are running up in the background. As you can see, all the status are running in all these. Some of them are stop and some of them are running. So I have stopped some of them and some of them are constantly running behind. Now, here's some of the processes does take a lot of resources. For example, the Microsoft Edge update, which I have stopped, it took a lot of CPU as well as RAM. So this I have stopped. So as you can see, I can disable them. I just have to choose this and it will be disabled or I can disable it as far as my will. Moreover, if you scroll down, you can see other specific things which probably you don't require. So you do check it over here. Obviously, it will be different than what I have. Probably you have some additional things. I may have some additional things. Whichever you feel you don't need, Simply turn off and simply just click on apply and click OK and then try your game. See if that helps. Next step, what you can do is if you're in a PC or a laptop, you have to make sure that your CPU or your laptop is completely clean. If you have dirt in the fans, if you have dirt inside it, obviously it will heat up the system and obviously it will lower down or it, it will try to lower down its performance. And for that reason, you will get lag. And it is as it is that you're trying to play the game, but your CPU is not able to perform well as it is trying to constantly push itself more and more and that's why you're seeing a high CPU uses. Reason being is CPU is your CPU is not cooled. So for this reason, 
make sure that if you have a PC or a laptop, make sure you clean them very, very nicely, specifically the fans. Once it's nice and clean, then you can check. I'm pretty sure that you will see a drop in the CPU uses. Next step, what you can do is you can install any kind of an antivirus system in your PC. Now, there are so many free antivirus systems which are available. You can download any of them and just simply just run a scan in your PC. What this will do is if anything is hampering your CPU uses or anything is running in the background, which probably is a malware and that is why your CPU is getting so much of high CPU uses, that antivirus will help you in order to detect it and you can delete it permanently and that way probably it will reduce your CPU uses much of a better and a stable value. So make sure you do try it, make sure you download a free antivirus software and just run one scan in your PC or your laptop. Last step would be to update all the essential things required. Firstly, the BIOS update. Secondly, the Windows update. Thirdly, if you have an NVIDIA graphics card or your AMD graphics card, make sure you update them. These three things are very essential and it should be up to date whether it is Windows, BIOS or your display driver. So make sure you have the latest of them and then you see if you get any improvement in the CPU uses. So that was a video quite plain and simple on how to fix your high CPU uses while gaming. If this video helped you, please don't forget the like button. Because this subscribe my channel if you're new here. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.